Australia is a wonderful island with a treasure trove of unique plants, animals, and people. Australia is free of many pests and diseases that are commonplace around the world. That is why Australia has to have such strong biosecurity laws. I am truly sorry that Pistol and Boo were not declared. Protecting Australia is important. Who is this? Barnaby Joyce. Barnaby Joyce or her, don't you scratch that glass one more time. I will hurt you. I will hurt you. I will. <laughs> To this situation, what led to this situation? What led to this situation? Amber Heard's reply to a mail, which shows she knew her dogs were not up to Australia's standards, but she didn't care. She wanted to find someone to forge her dog's papers. During the trial, it was revealed that she threatened her employee by making him take the blame. Kevin Murphy, estate manager for Heard's then husband, Johnny Depp admitted in London's High Court on Wednesday that he made statements to the Oz Authority time that were not entirely truthful to try to deflect blame from Heard. He signed official documents claiming Heard's recently fired assistant, Kate James, had been responsible for filing the missing paperwork that Heard thought was all set when she flew to Australia. Murphy said Heard also pressured him to go to James directly and ask her to lie under oath and take the blame and pretend Heard did not know she was breaking the law by traveling with her pet pooches. However, he insisted in court, Miss Heard was aware that this was illegal because I had informed her repeatedly by email, telephone, and in person. Murphy said, I told Miss Heard that I was uncomfortable with giving a false statement to the court and that I would not ask Miss James to do so. He said he finally gave a false statement written for me by Marty Singer and Amber Heard because Heard threatened him, confirming when asked that he felt the star wanted him to commit perjury on her behalf. That's what I was asked to agree to, and had the threat of losing my job or having trouble with my job, he told the court of extreme pressure. Miss Heard's threatening language made me feel anxious and uneasy. Amber wielded a lot of power and would have made my life miserable, he said, saying she could be subversive. Johnny's never asked me to lie, Murphy said of death, he also insisted, Johnny never wanted the dogs to travel. It was always Amber who wanted the dogs to travel. Heard eventually pleaded guilty to providing a false immigration document over the smuggled dogs, but avoided jail time. A part of her deal was to record a video that was shown in the beginning. She however could not help herself afterwards. She continued mocking Barnaby Joyce every chance she got. Which was not the smartest move on her part. She posted herself smuggling another dog into her hotel room, claiming old habits die hard. Um, thank you, GQ. Uh, thank you so much for that amazing introduction. That was really sweet. Um, and I just feel really honored to be in this room tonight with um, examples of uh, real gentlemen. It's a rare thing these days, and I feel honored. Um, I also think the timing is amazing. Today I flew in from Los Angeles after being here for eight months shooting. Uh, I thought I had finally escaped, but no. Uh, two days later I'm called back to accept this award. Um, I'm assuming on behalf of my dogs, Pistol and Boo. Um, well, unfortunately they could not make it tonight. <laughs> Ryan Murphy's confession was the reason Australia reopened Amber Heard's dog smuggling case. She was being actively investigated for perjury in Australia and could face 14 years in prison. Fortunately for Heard, Australian prosecutors dropped case against her in 2023. The department told the AP it collaborated with overseas agencies to investigate whether Heard had provided false testimony about her knowledge of Australia's biosecurity laws and whether an employee had falsified a statutory declaration under duress of losing their job. The department had provided prosecutors with a brief of evidence against Heard, but no charges would be laid. 